So two weeks ago, I go to the mall. My goal was simple. I wanted to revamp my fall wardrobe. It's been a while since I've actually been shopping for me and I needed to upgrade certain pieces. I wanted some new pants, more specifically black jeans, gray denim. I also wanted a pair of new like medium wash blue jeans. After two hours of trying things on different stores, I was so frustrated that nothing, literally nothing fit me that I ended up leaving. I walked in the door and my wife's like, let me see all your clothes you got. I'm like, I didn't buy anything. She's like, what, why? I'm like, because I'm short. I'm five foot six and you can literally not find pants off the rack that fit a short dude. She's like, why don't you go to that like website used to buy stuff for like short guys? I'm like, oh, <laughs> Peter Manning. And she's like, yeah, Peter Manning. Why don't you go there? I'm like, good idea. And so I ended up going to Peter Manning and I dropped literally 25 hundred freaking dollars and that basically got me thinking about this video today guys what I want to actually do is go over how to properly dress for your body type and shape For this video we're gonna go over some general dressing rules in terms of things and ways that you can actually make yourself better regardless of the body shape or type that you have but we're gonna dig a little bit deeper we're gonna dive in to some specific issues that certain body types have and how to actually fix it Real quick before we get into this guys I just want to show you this outfit right all Peter Manning right everything from the bomber jacket amazing the t-shirt notice the length it's not too long and the denim the perfect length the crotch isn't real baggy the legs aren't real tight the length these are actually a 29 inch inseam which is perfect and in case you guys don't remember or have never heard of peter manning they are a website that sells clothing specifically designed for men five foot nine and below but it's not your standard sizes and that's the magic behind peter manning clothing all right in terms of tops they basically do like a questionnaire they're going to ask you what type of body you have in terms of are you big are you skinny are you athletic and then they're going to ask you your height they're also going to ask you your weight you plug in your information and then peter manning is going to tell you what size in peter manning clothing you are and so for me i'm a three everything from my t-shirts to my pullovers to my sweatshirts to my jackets right i'm literally a three you might be a four you might be a two check it out i'm a three right in the bomber i'm a three in the t-shirt i'm a three in Check out this over shirt. I got this and I absolutely love it. I've been wearing it all the time. Check it out, right? And look, right? Notice the arm length. It's not too long. I don't have to roll it up and cuff it up. The length of the shirt, once again, it's perfect. And the fit is absolutely flawless. Gentlemen, Peter Manning is amazing. The quality of the Peter Manning clothing is next level. In terms of an aesthetic, it basically is kind of like a J. Crew meets like Todd Snyder, like Banana Republic. It's classic styles. The fit is always amazing though because they have basically done what other companies wouldn't and that is make clothing specifically for the shorter male or the men under five foot nine because our proportions are different. It's not good enough just to hem a pair of pants. All the proportions are different. Check it out. Another one of my favorites that I recently got, right? It's a hoodie, right? Simple, clean. Once again, the size is a three. Peter Manning literally has like everything. Their selection is insane. Everything from their jackets to their dress clothes to their chinos to their sweatpants to their denim to their button-ups to their pullovers to their t-shirts to their outerwear to their bomber jackets and their pants. Guys, that's the thing. Their inseams go down to a 25 which is unheard of for most brands. And the thing that you're gonna notice is all the proportions of their clothing fit better and look better than anything you're gonna buy off the rack. Because Peter Manning has built the clothing for shorter dudes proportions. Because we're not the same proportion as a tall dude. You can't just hem something and think it's gonna look amazing on us. Peter Manning has taken the guesswork out of you looking incredible and dressing well as a shorter dude. Guys, I've got a special link down below. There's also a limited time discount code if you use the code ALPHA2023 for the next 30 days, you're going to get 20% off your entire order. Gentlemen, now let's talk a little bit more about you and your body. All right, gentlemen, so now let's get down to business. The truth is the majority of us were not born with off-the-rack type bodies, right? Now, if you're six foot two, 190 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal and built like a model, everything looks amazing on you. But that's not the reality for the majority of us dudes, all right? The first body type we're going to talk about is the skinny dude, all right? few things you should avoid skinny clothing if the clothing is too tight it's actually going to accentuate your skinny nature making you look even thinner
thinner. Number two is dark monochromatic looks, all right, because the dark colors are actually going to make you look smaller. Now, if you're a big dude, a little bit heavier, a little bit huskier, the dark colors actually makes you look smaller, which is amazing. If you are skinny, what I'd recommend is go lighter, all right? The whites, the light grays, the brighter colors like greens and pinks, these are actually gonna make you appear a bit larger. Now, down below, what I'd recommend is the lighter shades, light khaki, light gray, not to mention light denim. It's all about reflecting, gentlemen. The lighter colors like white and grays and light tans will reflect light, making you appear broader and bigger, all right? Something else is fit. Instead of going skinny, go with something that's a little bit more straight leg, right? Now, this brings me to something that I wanna talk about, and that is baggy, baggy clothing, all right? In my opinion, Baggy clothing doesn't look good on anybody because it's gonna make you look short, it's gonna make you look heavy. If you're skinny and you wear baggy clothing, it's also gonna make you look even skinnier. Layering, layering is amazing for a skinny guy to build up his upper chest, not to mention his traps, all right? By wearing an undershirt or a t-shirt underneath of a sweater and then layering on top, maybe a jacket like the bomber or something like this field jacket, right? Is gonna be perfect for you, all right? Look at this, the double chest pockets is going to add bulk to your chest, the collar is gonna add bulk to your traps, all right? The color, this green is amazing because it's light, it's gonna reflect, it's gonna bounce the light, making you appear bigger. This jacket, of course, came from Peter Manning, and once again, the proportions are perfection. But if you're a little bit bigger dude, right, a little bit huskier up top, that's actually the next body type we're gonna talk about. Instead, what I would do if I were you is go with something like this, right? The dark color, the dark overshirt is actually gonna make you smaller. When you combine it with the white, it's actually gonna give the illusion of slimming you and also making you look more muscular. Combine that with a pair of dark denim, it's going to elongate you and make you look leaner and smaller. The other cool thing with an overshirt is that if you have a pocket, if you've got man boobs, it's a great way to minimize that as well. Check it out. Here's another great idea. If you are a little bit rounder, a little bit huskier, right? Dark underneath, dark down below, dark up top, all right? This jacket is a gray corduroy trucker jacket, but notice something. The hem, right? The crop, where is it? That's the thing. Guys, you gotta make sure when it comes to dressing, regardless of how tall or short you are, that the fit is proper when it comes to not only your t-shirts, but also your outerwear. If you are a bigger dude and that jacket or that shirt is coming down real long, it's gonna make your legs appear much shorter and your upper body bigger. If you're somebody that is short and your jacket is coming down too long, once again, your legs are gonna be shorter. It's all about creating visual length, right? It's going to elongate you, it's gonna make you look taller and leaner. Now, now, if you are somebody that is heavier, you want to avoid pants that are too long and puddling at your ankle because, once again, it's going to make you look short, it's going to make you look heavier. If you're a short dude, right, you know you don't want pants that are puddling by your ankle because, once again, it's going to make you look short. Instead, you want to make sure you're looking for pants that are nice and tapered without being overly tight. If you're a big dude, right, up top, right, you know the trouble of finding clothing that fits you. If you find something that fits you in the midsection, it's going to be skin tight everywhere. All right, what I would recommend is look for clothing that fits you strategically snug in the chest and the arms, but is not too tight in the body. This may mean you need to actually size up and then have the shirt tailored. That's one of the hard things. Guys, if you are a hard to fit body, you got to understand that tailoring is your friend. Unfortunately, if you're like super tall and skinny, there isn't a company that I know of like Peter Manning. Now, the good news is that there are companies that do sell longer pants, all right? The company DX I've talked about them before. They are great for somebody that is tall and big, right? Whether or not you're a heavy guy or you're just a really tall guy, they sell longer pants. They also sell larger sizes. The downside to DXL is typically the clothing is going to be super long in terms of the shirts, but the good news is that you can find pants that actually fit. But what if you're a little bit larger down below, right? Maybe you've got big thighs, a big butt, a little bit hippie. What I'd recommend is balance it with color contrast. What I mean by that is light shirt up top is gonna make you look bigger up top. And then you combine it with a pair of medium to dark wash denim down below. All right, the light and dark is gonna offset making your lower body appear smaller. Next up, let's talk about patterns, all right? So number one, horizontal stripes don't look good on anybody other than super skinny tall dudes, all right? Because it's actually going to make you look wider, it's gonna make you look a little bit shorter. But if you're short, horizontal stripes are a no-go. If you're heavy, no-go. Vertical stripes are good 
on short guys, also heavy guys. The vertical stripes are actually going to accentuate your height, also your thinness, all right? But if you're a short guy or if you're wider, the vertical stripes are actually going to add visual length and dimension to you, making you appear smaller, also taller. Check it out. Little pop quiz. Which suit would look better on somebody that is short? This one. Why? Because of the vertical stripe and the dark color. What about somebody who is heavy? Exactly, this one, because once again, the vertical stripe and the dark color is gonna make you look smaller. This suit, on the other hand, would look amazing on somebody that is thin. Why? Because the light color, once again, is gonna reflect light, make you look larger, and the pattern, the Glen plaid, is amazing for giving a subtle pattern to actually add interest and bulk to your body. And since we're talking about suits, a few other things you need to understand when it comes to dressing your body perfectly. All right, number one is the color, right? Dark colors look great on most people. The two colors I'd recommend are dark gray, charcoal, or navy blue. If you're a thin dude, wearing a lighter gray or a lighter blue is also a great option. Black suits don't look good on anybody and really shouldn't be worn except for funerals or possibly if you're wearing a tuxedo, that also can be black, all right? But something else we gotta talk about is tailoring. This is the missing link when it comes to you looking amazing. A lot of guys don't realize that when you're having your pants altered, instead of just getting them hemmed, you also should have them tapered down at the ankle, all right? It's a small, subtle modification that will make you look amazing. It's gonna make you look taller, thinner, sexier, more muscular, and more amazing, regardless of how tall, short, or fat you are. And the last kind of rule I'd just like to throw out there when it comes to dressing properly for your body shape is learn your body, right? You gotta understand that all clothing was not created equal. You've gotta realize what stores work for you, what cuts look best on you, right? The beautiful thing when it comes to denim is there are a lot of different options. They're skinny, they're slim, they're standard, there's athletic, there's relaxed. Really, it's about finding the best pair of denim for you that fits you perfectly. It shouldn't be too tight, it also shouldn't be too big, roomy or baggy, and it should never be hanging down on your ass. But the cool thing is that they now make other pants that have different cuts as well, like khakis, chinos, and cool Corduroys. And shirts, guys, the thing is, all right, we unfortunately don't have off the rack bodies. Now, one thing I'd recommend is always opt for the slim fit version because slim fit doesn't mean super tight. It simply means it's going to be more tailored in the midsection of the shirt. Reducing the amount of fabric is going to make you look better. But the other thing you can do is, once again, find a store that makes clothing that works for you. For me, Peter Manning has been a game changer, all right? It's amazing what happens when they actually pay attention to the proportions. If you're a short dude, you know the pain and suffering and unfortunately embarrassment that is associated with going into a store and trying to find clothing off the rack. It doesn't work. But Peter Manning, their clothing is amazing. Guys, once again, I'm going to have a special link down below this video. There's also a limited time discount code ALPHA2023 to get 20% off your entire purchase. Guys, bottom line is this. If you're six foot two, 190 pounds, 